In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft Microsoft account on Android. So guys, the first thing you want to do is you want to open up Minecraft Bedrock like you normally would. And you want to go ahead and select on this button over here that does say sign in. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on that, then go ahead and press on sign in now just like so. Then go ahead and press on sign in one more time, and then it is going to go ahead and give you a screen that looks like this. So it is going to say sign in to continue. So guys, in order to actually begin making a Microsoft account, which you will then need in order to join servers, realms, and stuff like that, you will need to go ahead and press over here where it says create one. So please go ahead and select on that. Then go ahead and select on for myself. Or if you're a parent watching this video, go ahead and select on for my child. But for this video, I'm just going to go ahead and select on for myself. And now what you want to do is you want to enter in your birthday. So your country and region and your birthday as well. So me guys, I am officially unk status. I was born in September 19, all the way back in the stone age in 2004. All right, then all you want to do is you want to press on next after you enter in your birthday. And now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and enter in your email address if you have one. So if you have like a Gmail account, for example, then you can actually use that in order to create your Microsoft accounts. But if you don't even have a Gmail account, that is perfectly fine because all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on get a new email address instead. So I'm actually going to be creating this Microsoft account from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and select on get a new email address. But if you already have a Gmail account, then you can go ahead and just enter it here. But we're just going to do everything from scratch. So I'm going to press on get a new email and you want to go ahead and enter it in. So right now, let's go ahead and enter it in really quickly. Okay, so this is the email that I'm going to be making right over here. Now, whenever you're creating your email, I highly suggest that you write it down on a piece of paper, save it to your device notes, because you want to make sure you know what your email is, because that is what you're going to be using in order to log in. And the last thing you want to do is forget your password or, of course, forget your email. So you just want to go ahead and press on next whenever you're done with that. Then you want to go ahead and create a strong password. So make sure that this password is strong, good, and reliable, and that you're able to remember it. So again, write it down on a piece of paper or save it to your device notes. Just make sure to keep track of your password otherwise if you forget your password it's going to be an entire hassle but i'm just going to go ahead and make a password really quickly okay then you want to press on next just like so and then just enter in your name so this is my name right over here then you want to go ahead and press on go just like so then it is going to go ahead and take you to this captcha so you want to go ahead and press on hold right over here. So just go ahead and do that really quickly. All right. Then once you got this check mark, it is going to go ahead and bring you to a screen that does look like this. All right. Once you're done with that, it is then going to go ahead and bring you to a screen that looks like this. So you can go ahead and actually sign in faster using this if you want. But I'm just going to go ahead and press on skip for now. But if you want to make like the process of logging in easier, then you would go ahead and take a look at that. All right. So now we can go ahead and actually begin to customize our account. So by default, it is going to go ahead and make us like a gamer tag and stuff like that. But you can go ahead and actually customize it over here for example you could change your gamer tag and you guys can go ahead and change your icon just like so so there is honestly a lot of great options that i'm really happy about but just select on your profile picture and make sure that your gamer tag is something that you're able to remember and something that actually represents you then you want to go ahead and press on save and continue just like so all right there you go it will now say welcome back and then here we go in our microsoft account so all you want to do is you want to press on let's go and then from there it is going to go ahead and sign you in and also create your microsoft account so so you could use this Microsoft account across multiple different platforms, whether you're trying to play on a Windows device or on a console, it will get the job done. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.